Today, I want to reveal to you viewers at home what I think might be Midjourney's secret weapon. Midjourney is known as being the best AI art generator out there. I mean, you could take one look at the top generations of all time on Midjourney's website, and it's pretty easy to see why it's so loved. I mean, these images are absolutely breathtaking. The detail, the colors, the contrast, the framing. And of course, Midjourney is built on the back of Stable Diffusion, which hundreds and hundreds of websites now use. Looking at the top generations in Playground, a lot of these do look about as good as Midjourney generations, but they just aren't all of the way there. Here's a direct prompt comparison. In Playground, we're gonna do a beautiful waterfall, magical illuminated in a mystical way. And this is about what you would expect. It's actually pretty decent imagery, I would say. But here are the results we got from Midjourney. These results are more artistic, and they're less bland and boring, I think, than the original ones. It definitely looks more like something an artist would create, so pretty much any prompt you type in is a beautiful image. Well, to take you under the hood of Midjourney, so to speak, I'm going to show you an app that I think works in pretty much the exact same way that Midjourney does. So this right here is TypeStitch. I have covered it on the channel before, but it's a lot more updated than it used to be. Let's take a very simple prompt and see what type stitch does to it. Photo of a cute lemon character and we click the generate button. We can see it takes this original prompt we typed out and breaks it down and regenerates it into more than one keyword. So we see a bright yellow cartoon character with a smiling face looking directly up at the camera while holding an adorable lemon in one paw. And then we've got some other words such as Hiromu Arakawa, I assume that's an artist, watercolor and cheerful. What's nice about type stitch is we can actually remove the ones we don't want and then by clicking this box down below we can actually generate what this prompt is and obviously this is dolly 2 here that we're getting so the images aren't super fantastic but if we go ahead and click this button right here we can take that prompt directly into stable diffusion and see what we get and while a lot of these are far from perfect it's better than our original prompt which was just photo of a cute lemon character as you can see these have a lot more variety than just this image right here so what type stitch is doing is essentially using AI text generation to spice up the prompts themselves. And we can see when we do actually type in some keywords or a prompt to start off with, we get more than one. As you can see, our second one here was a cheerful lemon character with a big smiling eyes and furry ears standing atop a pile of bright green leaves. There are also settings in this. Your prompt length can be long or short. Art style can be mentioned, ambiance can be mentioned, perspective, photo style. So we can actually put all of these on and our prompt now is probably going to get pretty lengthy. So you now could probably just start out with one word, which is television, click the generate button, and a whole list of keywords will be brought before us. A modern flat screen television displaying a complex network of bright, vibrant colors and intricate patterns. We've got an artist, the art style, which is digital art, vibrant, soft glow, low angle aerial, abstract macro photography. That is quite a complex prompt. Let's see what Stable Diffusion thinks of it. And this is some pretty cool imagery from Stable Diffusion. Again, our original prompt was just television. And while these images might not be the most coherent in the world, they are a lot more interesting than just television as a prompt. But Dolly does not know what to think of it. Anyways, my point being, I think Midjourney is actually doing the same kind of thing here. It's taking your keywords and actually modifying them in the prompt to try to produce an image that might be a little bit more interesting than just your original basic prompt. Essentially, I'm proposing Midjourney is probably doing a little bit of prompt engineering for you. The problem with Midjourney, though, is that quite honestly, the UI stinks. It all runs through Discord, which is a huge hassle. And you don't necessarily get as much control over the image as you would with Playground AI, for example. So the ability to use something like Type Stitch to try to adjust your prompt and enhance it before, you know, putting it through the image generator can bring you a lot closer to Midjourney's generations. Here is another prompt. I did floating islands and all of these actually look to be pretty cool. Now Stable Diffusion is actually producing some really, really cool stuff I think for this prompt. Definitely a pretty fun prompt to say the least. Now what if we want to do a double stack on this? Let's take our enhanced prompt and put it into Midjourney. Now Midjourney's generations definitely look a lot better than just base Stable Diffusion. This was the 
the single word prompt version of that enhanced prompt we just looked at in Midjourney, and you can see that the enhancement definitely does quite a lot for Midjourney at the end of the day. However, Midjourney's images still look greatly enhanced in comparison to stable diffusion with the same single word prompt. You can see what I mean when I think that Midjourney is doing some enhancement under the hood to their prompts. I mean, this is the same exact prompt. Stable Diffusion versus Midjourney. It's a night and day difference, and Midjourney definitely is pumping their own images back into its own algorithm, essentially meaning that Midjourney is being trained on the best images it has generated itself, so it gets better in some way. And I think that's where a lot of the color and the detail and stuff comes into Midjourney's generations, but I really think they're doing prompt enhancement under the skin here, under the hood. And it's definitely working out for Midjourney, considering they've been on top for quite some time now. Either way, Type Stitch might still have your back here if you don't want to pay for a Midjourney subscription or you maybe just want a little bit more control by generating in base stable diffusion with something like Playground. Type Stitch definitely isn't the only AI company that is working on this prompt enhancement tech. Prompt Hunt here, which reminds me a lot of the, you know, the Midjourney interface or the Playground AI interface, will actually do the same thing when you try to type a prompt in. I'll type a prompt in, press the create button, and this little button will come up saying apply smart styles. We found some styles that will improve your creation. You click on this apply button and it starts to load. And we can see our end generated image is a lot more beautiful than just this basic prompt would be in regular stable diffusion. It's applied a digital art filter, a Ghibli filter, a highly detailed filter, trending on art station, and a few other ones. So there definitely is some prompt enhancement going on and it actually seems to have worked out pretty nicely. These are Midjourney's images for the same prompt of an old and wise tree. I don't know about you guys, but do you notice any similarities between this image generated in Prompt Hunt and these four images generated in Midjourney. I feel like they have some of the same prompt enhanced styles that this one does. Here's what plain old Stable Diffusion thinks of that same prompt. They're all more photorealistic, I would say, rather than artistic like Midjourney or Prompt Hunt. Definitely some stuff going on under the hood that we don't see. Of course, both of these are based off of Stable Diffusion under the hood, so this is what we're starting out with and this is what we're ending up with. The website we just looked at, Prompt Hunt, is powered by Prompt Parrot in terms of their Prompt Enhancer. And I will link this down below if you guys want to do some prompt enhancing really simply and easily on Replicate.com. Essentially what Prompt Parrot is under the hood is a prompt generator that uses AI and is trained on text-to-image prompts from previous text-to-image generations. And folks, what do you think Midjourney has a lot of? Well, they have a lot of pre-generated images in Midjourney to base their new algorithms off of, and they have a ton of fantastic prompts to go along with them. So it would make sense that they would use that same tech that Prompt Parrot is using and re-put in old Midjourney prompts into your current prompts, essentially enhancing them to become a little bit better. It's a kind of a no-brainer, but I haven't really seen many text-to-image generators use this yet, and Dolly 2 certainly doesn't use it. I don't know, folks, tell me what you think down in the comments. Do you think Midjourney is enhancing their prompts? To me, the most telltale sign is the fact that you can type one word into Midjourney and it comes out with a fantastic, beautiful, artistic image. If you generate anything cool with any of the tools I've showed off in today's video, please send them and share them in my Discord. Thank you for watching, folks, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.